our next round is called, if this is the answer, what is the question? On the board are six categories. Ivo, which category would you like? I would like environment, please, Dara. Okay, your category is environment. The answer is fat nappies and condoms. <laughs> what is the question? What was the original title of Sun, Sex and Suspicious Parents? <laughs> is it what does Jacob Rees Mogg refuse to touch? <laughs> Is it name three things you can buy battered in Scotland? <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, one of the Secret Service code names for Donald, Eric, and Melania Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the most we can hope to walk away with from Brexit negotiations? <laughs> yeah. Is it what? What's the strapline for the movie Elvis: The Final Years? <laughs> In Rat Sainsbury's, what three items constitute the meal deal? <laughs> Is it three things you should never put in a nutri bullet? <laughs> <laughs> what are the last three things I put my penis in? Oh. <laughs> Is it what are the three worst nicknames I had at school? <laughs> <laughs> I think I know this one. Genuine always. sympathy, that was the reaction I was going for there. <laughs> there are his nicknames now. <laughs> Our team left to right. Yeah. <laughs> Is it well, happy to be that one? <laughs> <laughs> what are the three things in Axel Rose's hurricane preparedness kit? <laughs> <laughs> this is the fat bird that's been found in the oh, sewer in London, yeah. which ah. is a massive monster, apparently. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Yes. The question I was letting you know was, what are some of the items that make up the monster fatberg, which was found in London's sewage network last week? This is the news that sewage workers in East London have discovered a giant mass of congealed fat underground. It's thought to be one of the biggest ever. At 250 metres long, the fatberg is estimated to weigh 130 tonnes, and workers predict it will take three weeks to clear. What does everyone make of the monster fatberg? Can we, say, we all yeah. want to go of it. We, yeah. we all want to have a go at helping break that up. It, uh, they're, they're shooting it with, like, jet massive wash. jet washes. Yeah, they to are, just yeah. watch. How satisfying would that be? Uh, they should just get a load of tortilla chips. <laughs> I can't help thinking that clearing a massive 250-metre-long fatberg is going to be one of the jobs we find it more difficult to fill after Brexit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I blocked my own drain using my own pressure washer. It was absolutely chock full of mine, my wife's, and my children's shit. <laughs> <laughs> and probably yours, yeah. Dara. Possibly, possibly, possibly yours. Yours in Often there. I've, I've and... driven out to your house specially. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you well the one that caused the blockage. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's, difficult, it's difficult to fingerprint this stuff, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was not difficult. Getting rid of it, I got, it, got the press went and... <laughs> and it was so... It was more satisfying than the combined effort of doing all those shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, did it, I did it wrong once when I was doing much the same thing. I was unblocking a, a drain, but you probably did it from the... So you weren't in the way of whatever... I was... got a bit pebble-dashed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you? I, was, yeah. I just unblocked a massive sort of block, and uh, then I just heard this sort of... <laughs> and then this tsunami of shite. <laughs> towards me. It hadn't occurred to me, weirdly, that there would be a tsunami of shite. <laughs> Am I I'm... the only person here who gets a man in when that needs to be yeah. done? Yeah. Yeah. Like I just say, I, I, I am sure. a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An incident a few years back in, in, in Thailand. We were in one of those holiday villages, it's the, the little cottages, you know, and um, I, well, we had to move because of an incident. Um, <laughs> we had to pack up and move, and I had to go to the reception and go, We're going to need a different cottage. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a bigger toilet. You know, I have broken this cottage. <laughs> I want you, I want I you have to brick broken... up this cottage, <laughs> never rent this cottage again. Yeah. <laughs> This is now a haunted cottage. Uh, I broke Koh Samui. <laughs> the entire island. Island. Shut it down. <laughs> Shut down the entire <laughs> island. I have done a poo so big. <laughs> this entire <laughs> island is now over. It's finished. <laughs> it. That was great. We... I had a horrible time in Thailand once. She said her name was No Dong. <laughs> I'm so proud of the fat bird, man. 
I'm so proud of it. My whole life, all I've done, dedicated my whole life to try and make the world's biggest fat burg ever. And every day I wake up, I'll just get a big vat of oil and I'll just tip it down the shower drain. I'll shout, grow, fat burg, grow! <laughs> every morning and people come around, I'm like, you got any nappies? You flush them down the toilet! <laughs> Do you watch the news? I'll be big one day. And now finally the fat burg has happened and I've made my mark in history. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. I don't think it's right to call it a fat burg if it's actually man-made. I think it should be the Shitanic. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Leonardo DiCrepio. Who is trying to get a piece of this fat burg? The, mu the Museum of London. Yes. And Greg wants it. And it's yeah. like, they contacted Thames Water. Who, who had... Who drew the short straw and had to be the person to ask? <laughs> yeah, you know that massive congealed fat? It's full of shit and condoms. Mm. Can we have it? <laughs> <laughs> they won't get the fat bird. They're going to find themselves in a bidding war with yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy that fat bird, and guess what? I'm going to flush it all down the toilet again. <laughs> <laughs> They could use it at Madame Tussauds for the unpopular celebrities. The Piers Morgan room, something like that. <laughs> Listen, well, for all we know, this is just Madame Tussauds quietly, like, melting down the Jimmy Savile statue. We've got to get rid of all the 1970s section. <laughs> get rid of all the 70s section. <laughs> Sorry, Rolf. Stripping <laughs> <laughs> them all down the sink. Quick, quick. Uh, moving on. Moving on? Why would you want to move on from this? Do you know what? I, I could talk about the rest of the fat burg for the show. rest of the day, but fat I feel fat. other stories... You just feel... You I... don't like it because Fatberg was your nickname at school. <laughs> <laughs> it truly was. I know. Uh, it was baldy. <laughs> <laughs> it was baldy. <laughs> yeah, baldy even then. Bald. Bald even then. I did not look like a 45-year-old man at school. So. <laughs> no, I did not, you didn't, I didn't know, know me. But he did. It, it, it didn't look like a 45-year-old man. It looked like a fat bug. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, it wasn't it's all, all coming back know. now. It's like, ah, I'm regressing. It wasn't like... either of those anyway, was it? It was Megabus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. anyway. <laughs> Moving on.